Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to City on a Hill Gaming. This is this is not Dungeons and Dragons. This is five-ish minutes of Daniel and I talking about a charity we like. Um, Daniel's here. Yes, I am here. We are okay. So, among the things Daniel and I share an enjoyment of Magic: The Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, nachos, presumably. I'm eating nachos right now. That's why I thought of that. Um, giving money to good people to help kids. Yes, and, and in specific, uh, Daniel I know has a particular giving money to help kids charity. He's a real, big, real big fan of, and I am also a fan of. So, Daniel, tell them about that thing. Okay. Um, uh, what's going to be happening in a couple weeks is the Desert Bus for Hope Marathon. Uh, it is like a charity fundraiser telethon. It begins on November 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And it is Desert Bus is the world's longest running internet based fundraiser. Uh, it has raised more than, than six million dollars for Child's Play uh, Charity. And Child's Play Charity is a registered charity dedicated to improving the lives of children undergoing treatment in the hospital with toys and games. And what happens in Desert Bus basically is that uh, the, the crew, which is a whole bunch of people, um, started by the same people that do Loading Ready Run, but there's a giant group of people and they play continuously an awful, awful game called Desert Bus and they play for as long as people give them money to play it. It's real bad. It's, it's I mean, it was real bad on purpose, but like it's real bad. You just drive a bus. That slowly lists to the right, so you have to keep driving. Actively yeah. driving. And it drives in real time from, I think, was it Reno to Vegas? Two, from Tucson, Tucson Arizona Vegas. to Las Vegas. An eight-hour drive through the desert in real time. It's as much fun as that sounds like. Um, but it's really, it is about the kids. And, and I, like, okay, last year they raised over $850,000. And I think they, they, the marathon usually lasts, what, roughly a week? Yeah, it is. It is about a week. Uh, there is a percentage that I think it's seven percent. Yep, there's a seven percent increase for every hour for them to uh, play. So uh, it costs ten dollars and twenty six cents for eight hours, and it would cost ten million dollars to go a hundred and ninety nine hours. So you, it's we're talking about compound interest. Um, compound doing stuff for kids for good reasons. Yes, this is the one time where compound interest this is something is beneficial. An excellent thing, yes, because it helps the kids. Because I have, I, I have known multiple people and know someone literally right now with a child in a children's hospital, and a lot of money goes to helping those children's hospitals do what they do. But I like that child's play is about making sure the kids have things they can enjoy while they are stuck in a pretty not good situation that is intended to help them, but still a pretty not good situation. Um, and so that's, that's what child's play about child's play is about. And that's what loading ready run wants to do with desert bus. Um, and boy, boy, do they. Yes. Uh, it, it would the... cost us roughly a hundred million dollars. Oh no, I'm sorry. A hundred billion dollars, excuse me. And they would play the game for two weeks straight. Yes, uh, they would love. Wow, that. math! They would, they would, and they would do it because they, they literally, no matter what they're doing, because they, they do all sorts of things while they're doing this live stream. They do charity auctions. They do, they play games. They do all these other things. Someone, twenty four hours a day until the money runs out, drives a bus. Yes, vir vir virtually on the what console is this for? Uh, this is for the Sega CD. Oh, oh, good. And I don't yep. think, if I'm not mistaken, they used to play on an emulator, but they don't anymore. They play on an actual Sega CD no, now, don't they, they? They had a Sega CD from the beginning. Um, oh, did they? Okay, okay. I knew there was one at one point. Yeah, it it came out for another console as well that I um, I don't remember what it is, but it's it's something that's that came out along the same time as the Sega CD. 
that they've used before. Is there a Commodore version? No, I, Commodore, I think the Commodore was gone at this point. Yeah, I I cannot remember for the life of me. I I think it might have been like a a Japanese thing, like a Famicom. Oh, that's, okay, sure, sure, sure. That's probably not important. Um, that's but fair. yeah, for uh. A, a very brief time, I can talk about why uh, Child's Play and donated to children's hospitals is personally important to me. Do the same. Uh, because I spent more than a few stages of my uh, childhood in a children's hospital, uh, one in Chattanooga. And, for example, the first time I ever played Mega Man 2 was in a hospital because the children's hospital I was in uh, was uh, very graciously accepted donations of uh, gaming consoles, and they had an NES, and they had Mega Man 2, and it was awesome. That's all, that but, is awesome. <laughs> but it makes, it makes a big difference to the kids that are there. You can take my word for it. I've been there. But it yeah, uh, it's, it's hugely important. Absolutely. So we're big fans. Uh, you know we constantly, for City on the Hill, are about family-friendly content. Loading Ready Run, not always family-friendly. Desert Bus, to my knowledge, essentially basically always family-friendly. Is 100% family-friendly. Because because their intention is to raise money for kids, so kids should be able to watch them raise money for kids. There, uh, There is more information available at desertbus.org. I'll put the link in the description. They have, because of pandemic reasons... Um, not fully disclosed how everything is going to go this year. They may not actually themselves have fully figured that out because, again, pandemic reasons. But it's still happening. In three weeks from the day Daniel and I are sitting down, November 13th, like he said, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, he said, theoretically hoping that's right, they will begin driving a bus and they will do it till the money runs out. So go. Uh, I believe that is... Quote, quote me. I know you can watch it on desertbus.org. I believe you can also watch it on Twitch TV slash desertbus. That's what I was looking for. Twitch.tv slash desertbus. So go check them out. I'll put this out a couple weeks before Desert Bus, and again, much closer to Desert Bus. Uh, just you know, this is a thing we think is cool, and we, you know, we want to put it out there so other people know about it because they, even at at over six million dollars lifetime, they're not a hugely well known group. Which blows my mind because I've been watching their stuff for probably 15 years now. But they're still in the like 150,000 YouTube subscriber range. Which is yeah. a crap load of people, but relative to the internet now is not that many people. So any more people who can hear about giving good money to kids is a good thing. Yes, and there are all sorts of giveaways and auctions and chances for you to win fabulous prizes while raising money. So when it's possible, when it's feasible, and when it's reasonable, consider donating. Yes, please. And and the prizes genuinely are really cool. <laughs> they have if, given away some stuff that has made me cry a little for how badly I want it. Yeah. Uh, at, there's a huge backlog of YouTube videos. You can look at the Zelda Master Sword that they uh, did last year that is like an actual, legit, sharp, real sword. Ooh. Yeah. It, uh, yeah, the donations went through the roof for that Oh, one. I'm looking at that. Dear sweet mercy. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And all you had to do was donate like seven bucks and you were entered into the drawing for it. Seven bucks or multiples thereof and you're in. Love it. So go check them out. Links in the description. We appreciate you guys listening and for maybe helping them out. And if not, hey, you still learned about a cool thing. And that's awesome, too. So, uh, Daniel, thank you, sir. Welcome. We will talk to you guys later.